Yes, good morning YouTube. Pardon the noise, but we're checking out the airflow and heat coming in on my uh, solar house heating system today. It's just the day after winter solstice, so as winter as you can get. And you can see I have my airflow meter running. It's showing about 820, 830 summing in. That's a, a six inch air duct. And we're bringing in about 102 degree Fahrenheit air. That's the air coming in from the uh, heat panels on the roof. And if I uh, convert that flow rate on a six inch duct, 300 CFM works out to about 1635 feet per minute so we're roughly half of that or 150 cubic feet per minute. The outside air temperature right now is 65 Fahrenheit so we're getting about a, a 36 or 37 degree temperature rise and if you plug that into uh, formula cubic feet per minute times 1.08 times the temperature rise gives you the BTU per hour uh, of that heat uh, using 150 CFM times 1.08 times 36 degrees Fahrenheit gives me 5832 BTUs per hour so that's pretty good I think the heat panels are I think they're rated at nominally at 2500 BTUs per hour and I have the two in series so I think I'm getting the rated output right now and that's uh, you know at the very lowest sun angle it's nice and sunny today but it is warming up the house. I've already warmed it up uh, 5 degrees Fahrenheit today and it's before noon. We should get it up, uh, should be well up over 70 today, uh, which in the middle of winter on, uh, this is, the heat is from the sun, all the electricity to run this fan and all the other fans are also powered by the sun, solar panels uh, either feeding DC fans directly or feeding uh, AC powered fans through an inverter. So this is uh, 5800 BTUs per hour and there's no cost to it at all. And then I want to check my little uh, uh, internal fans here. Maybe I'll show you that on the uh, meter here. Yeah, hard to get a view up here, but this is one of the little fans I have in the uh, above the door in the bathroom where the heat comes in from outside. And so I have two of these 120 millimeter uh, PC fans. You can probably see it through there. It's a little fan that's run off of uh, 12 volt solar. And you can see we're getting about 280 feet per minute and the air coming out of the bathroom I guess it mixes uh, you know there's a mix of the 102 Fahrenheit that comes in from the outside uh, that mixes with the air in the bathroom so the air coming out of the bathrooms around 85 86 Fahrenheit so I have the vent uh, over the door there's the door frame and the two fans so that uh, seems to help the uh, heat because I used to get a lot of uh, hot air would get trapped where you can see behind this point hot air rises this area here behind the door would fill up with hot air before anything would come out uh, below so now I have these uh, two ventilation fans in the uh, above the door that blow uh, the hot air almost from ceiling level out and get it into the rest of the house where it can circulate. So that's been working pretty good. And these fans, like I say, they're 12 volt, uh, 120 millimeter fans. They run off of uh, 
a little wire that comes in from the outside thermostat. So when the main fan kicks on, these little fans kick on as well. So they're all thermostatically controlled. And these, these fans don't make any noise. The large fan that's moving, you know, 150 CFM, it, uh, it makes some noise back there. But yeah, this has been working pretty good. We're getting some good solar heat today. House still hasn't dropped below 60 Fahrenheit. Uh, it was 63 this morning, and we'll probably finish the day over 70. Supposed to be another storm coming in, so we'll have to coast a few more days. Thought I'd give you a little update on the solar heat. This is the lowest sun angle in the winter, but I have my solar heat panels tipped up to uh, about a 60 degree angle to pick up the uh, maximum heat in the winter. And they seem to be doing a pretty good job, especially after I clean them. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, check out some of my other solar heating videos on the channel. You can subscribe for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.